Hi, it's Daiki. I'm a Japanese living in Finland. In this video, I'm going to share my experience of how I got jobs in Finland as a foreigner. Sometimes I get Twitter DMs and comments in YouTube asking how I got a job here. In Finland, finding a job can be a challenging part, especially among younger generations and foreigners. It feels like many people are interested in this topic, so I decided to make a video about it. Before we start, I have to highlight that the situation of job hunting highly depends on your education, industry, profession, and skills. What I'm sharing here is based on my personal experience and my background, so please note that I'm not representing every foreigner living in Finland, and I'm sure you will also have different insights and opinion, especially if you have different backgrounds from mine. So let me start by briefly telling you my background. I studied business in Japan and did my exchange in Vancouver, Canada for one year. After that, I worked for a semiconductor company as a sales rep three and a half years in Japan. Then I quit my job and moved to Finland in 2016 for my master's degree in international business and entrepreneurship. Regarding my language proficiency, I speak English and Japanese, and my Finnish is intermediate level. I haven't taken any official tests, so I don't know if it's B1 or B2, but if I meet someone and need to have conversations for an hour, I can maybe manage, but it's not a business level fluency yet. After moving to Finland, I had one part-time job and two full-time jobs, including my current job. I'm going to share how I got them and what I learned from the experience. So let's start from the first job. It was my second year in Finland and I was still a student, but I had finished all of the courses and writing my thesis. I wanted to visit Rovaniemi in the Finnish Lapland area during winter, but it was quite expensive. Then I found out uh, there was kind of like a student grant offered by my university to those who work part-time in the field related to the degree program. I thought maybe I could find a part-time job in Rovaniemi, then I could get to experience authentic Finnish winter <laughs> while working there. So I started looking for a winter job but found out most of the winter job positions were already filled because many employers finish application process of winter jobs already by autumn. I googled companies based in Rovaniemi and sent emails and made a call if possible to a variety of companies. It wasn't anything like a smart way but luckily I found one local travel agency which was looking for a Japanese speaking person because they wanted to attract more Japanese tourists. I immediately decided to move to Rovaniemi and worked for 4 months there as a winter work. My task was mainly customer service, business development, and marketing focusing on Japanese market. If you are interested, you can watch this video where I talk about uh, cool winter activities and experiencing Rovaniemi. So that was the first job I got in Finland. Let's move on to the second job. Uh, this turned out to be my first job I worked full time in Finland, but at first I got the job as my summer job. In my first summer in Finland, I tried to find a summer job but I was too late to apply for most of the positions so in my second year, uh, I started looking for a summer job during the winter time already. I sent applications to 10 to 15 positions which I found mostly from LinkedIn. After a couple days, I was invited to a video interview to one company based in Tampere. The interview consisted with a group interview and an individual one. I wanted to get a sales development position from the fast growing company, so before the interview, I used quite much time to prepare for it. I read the job descriptions and summarized how I could contribute based on my previous experience and also checked new articles and press release related to the company so that I could ask good questions. Uh, rather than general ones at the interview, since I think it is a good way to show your interest. As a result, I got the summer job. I asked why they chose me. They said they were looking for someone who 
seems to fit in a team and has previous working experience in the business area. Also, they were expanding globally, but all of the employees based in Finland were Finnish people, so uh, they thought it would be nice to have an international person in a team. I have to say I applied at the right time and I was lucky to have a boss who was open to hire me who became an only foreigner in their Finnish headquarters. After summer, they offered me another fixed term contract and I took the offer. I liked working for the company, but at the same time I was interested in moving and working in the capital area, Helsinki. I had a fixed term contract there, but I wanted to change it to a permanent contract. I already graduated and I was staying in Finland with a work visa, not student visa. If the contract with the company is one year fixed term, then my work permit will also be one year. But if you get a permanent contract, then you will get a 4-year residence permit. So I asked my employer if I could get a permanent contract. However, the company didn't really understand the importance of contract type for those coming from outside of EU like me, and they were kind of slow to make a decision. So I decided to look for a job that gives me a permanent contract in the capital area. I used several different websites to look for a job, such as LinkedIn, Glassdoor, The Hub, and so on. Also, I asked my friends if they know some open positions in their workplaces or if they know someone who is looking for international talent, because finding a job through connections is a common way in Finland. I applied for some jobs and one company uh, to which I applied from LinkedIn contacted me through a phone call and the HL person invited me for an interview. My skill didn't meet all of the requirements written in the job description, but anyway I started uh, preparing for the interview. Before the interview, I at least summarized market situations, uh, companies, financial performance, how the job description suits my skills and previous experience, how I could contribute and influence the team and the company, and recent news related to the company. After the interview, apparently the company called my former boss in the previous workplace to ask her about me since I put her contact info as my uh, reference. After a couple days, I got the job. They told me there were other candidates who had longer experience and know more about the industry than I do, uh, but they focused more on the potentiality and if the person fits the team. So I was not the most qualified person, but the interviewers thought I would go well with the team. That's how I got my current job and I have to say it was also about the luck and the timing. <laughs> Based on those experiences, I learned that there are common challenges in the Finnish job market, especially among foreigners. Uh, let's see what kind of challenges uh, people tend to face and what would be possible strategies to overcome the obstacles. The first challenge is even many trainee or internship positions require previous work experience. This is tricky because people want to get those positions as a first step of their career, but if many companies require previous experience even for entry-level positions, how can you then get a first job? It can be a first blockage. I also realized some employers value previous experience in Finland. In this way, getting a first job could lead to another opportunity or career progression, so it's really important. The second challenge is, many jobs are not advertised in public. Someone once told me that more than half of the jobs are not advertised publicly in Finland. I don't know the exact number, but anyway, uh, many job positions are filled through the internal recruitment or some network of the company or the employees before it is advertised publicly. I remember a case of my friend who quit her job to move abroad. When she told the company that she would be resigning, her boss asked her if she knew someone who could take over her position. 
Then she introduced one suitable candidate from her network and finally、uh, the person was hired from the company after the couple of the interviews. It means that in this case the position was filled without going public. So there are hidden job opportunities like this. Usually, if you are new in Finland or don't have much experience yet, then you are likely to know less people, so it makes it more challenging to access the job positions that are not in public. The third challenge is the required skills differ in the industry, and general tips aren't always useful. For instance, when I started my degree in Finland, there was an orientation session at the university. At the end of the session, one student asked a question How can I get a job in Finland? Then one of the staff members at the university answered, Study, finish. I think that is not the best answer for it. I'm not saying finish isn't important to get a job, finish is important. There are many jobs that require native level Finnish language skills, and also if you live here for a long time, then knowing Finnish opens up、uh, wider career opportunities and brings more chances. However, for those degree students studying business, economics, IT, science, and so on, there are some other things they should focus more on if they want to get a job in Finland. Such as completing the degrees, joining project work, doing internships, and making network or connections. Usually, in those fields, Finnish language is not necessarily required, but English is required. So, you need to know what skills are especially valued in your field. So, what should we do to overcome those challenges? There are several things I learned or I realized from my experience. And also, what kind of strategies we should take. Let's think about it. The first thing is put effort on getting a first job. <laughs> it can be a part time job, internship, trainee position, summer job, or a job with fixed t i m e contract. As I said,、uh, in Finland, many positions require previous experience, so getting a first job means a lot. If you are a student, the most common job you get would be a summer job. If you want to find a summer job,、uh, one thing you have to know is that many summer job positions open during winter or early spring, so it's better to start checking the job market as early as possible. In case you are not sure where to check, I can list some platforms in the description. The second one is network is really important. Someone even told me that it's not what you know, but who you know. In order to find out how people actually find a job in Finland, I once asked my Twitter followers who work in Finland like this. The result was interesting. It shows that more than 35% of the people found a fast job through their own connections or network. One could say that the fact that having connections or knowing right people means a lot is not fair. However, if you think about it from the employer's point of view, it's obvious that hiring someone from their own network can be an effective and low cost way. Anyway, we need to get a grip on this reality, so we definitely shouldn't ignore the power of connections to find a job. So, based on this fact, it seems logical to try to find a job through connections or your own network. In other words, one could try to be known by people in the market. It can be your friend, acquaintance, someone you get to know through events or project work at school. The problem is that not everyone is good at getting connections by being super sociable in the situation surrounded by people. Then, what can you do? First, by telling people. I think it would be still worse. Starting by telling your network, such as、uh, posting on LinkedIn or Twitter, that you are looking for a job, since you never know to whom your info reached the ear of. Second, by creating and maximizing an opportunity. Getting a job through connections can be like a good trick to the game. <laughs> Even if you are not the one who has the coolest CV nor who is the best speaker in the interview, 
you get higher chances by utilizing this trick. Therefore, you should try to create and maximize an opportunity which includes projects with a local company, exhibitions, events, job fair, and so on. For instance, my friend was involved in a project with a Finnish company as a part of his school curriculum. He enjoyed and did his best as a group leader, and after the project was over, the company hired him. As they were impressed with his hard working, responsible attitude. So, as I said, having connections is important, but we can't ignore the fact that still quite many people, around 30% in this poll, got a job from public job posts such as LinkedIn. Let's see a couple of comments kindly given by some people. One person says, I kept calling companies and asking if they needed a worker in my professional area. That was almost six years ago, still working in the same job. So he managed to move a step ahead from others by taking an action oriented approach. One common way among people who succeeded in getting a job is contacting the company by calling, not only emailing, even if the company didn't have a public recruitment ongoing. I know some people who actually succeeded by that way. Someone I know who is working as a sales manager in Finland says if he needs to choose one from some candidates with similar experience, then he would probably choose one who directly calls him to inquire over others who email him. So, last but not least, it's important to find out areas where Finland is lacking talents. I know it's nice to study things you like. But if your top priority is getting a job in Finland, then you should focus on some specific areas. I'm not gonna go deep into this topic, but for instance, IT is one of sought after professions in Finland. Okay, I just can't simplify IT because、uh, it can be categorized into a variety of types. But anyway, that's something you could easily find out. You'd find some specific professions much more often than others in some recruiting websites, or if you check young, innovative companies or fast growing companies from Finland, you should be able to find what kind of talents they are looking for. If you haven't chosen what to study and in which field you want to get a job in Finland, this would be something you can do. So that's all for today. I would be glad if you find this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to write in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Moi moi!